Hi there, my name is Jay Lapoole with Server Matter and also with CompuMatter. And if you are a Linux server administrator, uh, particularly I speak from the position of Ubuntu server because that's what I'm using, you have no doubt run into apt key error messages when running apt get update. After the update's completed, it says some of them are deprecated and uh, leaves you in a position of wondering whether things are good or broken or what with your, uh, your apt packages. At present, that actually is just a warning. Everything has been performed, but deprecation is an indication that something's going to break at some point. None of us have the time to fool with it, so you, and if you start digging into the complex, the, the, the minutia of this sort of thing, you realize there's some indecisiveness as to what's the best place to put things to make things work. So again, speaking from the position of Ubuntu, I've done enough research to where I think I've got a handle on it and things are working wonderfully. I've created a batch, uh, bash script to make most of it go very quickly and with a few edits on top of that, this situation goes away completely. So let me explain to you how you can do what I've done and you can benefit from the brain damage that I've already been through. Okay, here is the problem. You run an update. After the update is done, you get some lines that say, um, specifically, see the deprecation section in app key and so on. It talks about the key ring and so on. And this, there are three specific files in this, play, in this case that are, or sources or packages where the key is set up in the old antiquated way. We can see those by typing apt key list. And that shows us that these three guys right here are the three that it's uh, echoing back to us as deprecated. The ones below it are all within the trusted gpg.d directory. That's the new way. The old way puts them in a file within etc. app trusted gpg. They look similar, but they're different. Um, and that's a binary format, which you won't be able to read. It extracts them from there. So step one is we've got to copy these keys to this directory. And step two, once we do that, we've got to delete these keys so they no longer appear. And step three is to manually edit the sources list to provide the new path. So let's go through this. We've created a very complex bash script um, that is designed to take care of steps one and steps two. Um, and words like launchpad, PPA, for productivity, those key words I want to uh, just make clear are going to be removed from the file name because you notice if you these, these UIDs here, I know this is confusing for just a little bit, but this UID indicates which um, software package we're talking about. In this case, it's Andre Sure. In this case, it's Collabra. In this case, it's Ramina. Well, we're going to create a file name made out of this stuff, but we're going to remove words that are commonly used. Uh, we're going to remove things that are in between um, brackets like this so that we can come up with a file name. Just, that's just a little background for you. And that's, that's what this does. It looks for those keywords and it ultimately is going to remove them. Uh, if, if you work your way through this, it's going to give you a demonstration of all the different things that are going to happen, including the exporting of the new key and finally the deleting of the key from the old location. So let's run that command. Okay. The script is run. Now let's verify that we have some new files and the uh, user share key rings. And you'll notice the Andre Suri, it's been uh, cleaned up and that's the file name that's been created. Uh, the Ramina has been concatenated, all lowercase, and turned into that. And the Collabra, the same thing has been done there. So that worked as expected. Okay, now let's run an apt key list to see how things look now. It's an apt key list. You'll notice 
that the ones that we had in there before are gone. So uh, we won't get those same error messages. Now something uh, that I want to make you aware of under temp sm app key logs, we do keep some logs every time we do something. So that shows you exactly which packages and which keys have been deleted and created. Uh, the trusted GPG key, since it was modified, we also create a backup in the etc. apt directory so that um, you don't have to worry about it. If you need to restore one, you can copy this one back to the original file name and you'll have your packages list again. So this is step three that we do not have automated yet. You've got to take a look at the contents of etc. app sources list D and you've got to find the files that relate to the uh, keys that you've just changed around. We can see this one we know matches that one, Ramina matches that one, and Collabra matches that one. So we know we've got them in there, but programmatically we haven't figured out how to, uh, to carry out this last step. So here's what you'll do. Get a directory of the files in your key rings folder. Uh, use the LT which will sort things newest at the top so you can easily see what you've just added. Open up a separate tab. The original tab is right here. Open up a separate tab and let's take a look at what's inside apt, etc. app sources list D. And let's start editing those. We're going to edit, for instance, to start with the PPA Andrej because we know which one we're talking about there. And we're going to type in, this is all new typing, I, I was in here a minute ago. And that's the path to and the file name right here. Put that in a bracket. Okay, now we're going to uh, comment out what we had in there before. And let's highlight this because we're going to use it uh, or something similar to that for the next file. So now instead of the Andre, we're going to uh, look at the Ramina as a for instance. We'll paste that line in there. We'll comment out the first one. And Ramina is this name right here. And the URL will, of course, be this right here and taking care to put in the jammy main after it. And that's what that looks like. So once again, we'll repeat that procedure. Sure like to get the, the bash file aspect of that figured out, but not today. We'll go into Collabora, paste it, comment it. Quite sure that was just Collabora, but I will verify that by looking at the other tab. It is. And we'll just take that whole thing right there. Now this one has a dot slash at the end of it, which um, it's a bit of an unknown, so we're going to see how this one works out. I don't know that it would require that. Okay, all the changes have been made. Let's do an app get update, update just as before. And Collab is the only one we're not finding, so let's take a look at that dot slash. In this particular case, with the dot slash, we dropped the jammy main, which evidently I've already deleted from there as well, but you don't want a jammy main at the end of that in this case. But that fixed it. Um, all my updates are working. No errors being thrown. Run the bash script. Do the last little bit manually, and you've got a solution. Well, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. If you uh, like what you saw, be sure to click the subscribe button and you'll be on the short list or the, or the early list for notification when these videos appear in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.